The Etewini municipality has refuted claims that the Go Durban project has become a white elephant despite a 10-year delay. The opposition party in the metro is demanding answers as to why the city has injected 10 billion rand into the non-functional bus terminals. The project was aimed at providing low-cost transport to commuters to move around Etewini and reduce congestion in the city. The Go Durban project is an initiative by the National Transport Department that was to be implemented by various metros across the country. However, the project was beset with challenges. In 2016, negotiations with operators deadlocked as they demanded full ownership of the bus fleet, resulting in an impasse that continued for more than eight years. The new revised approach will integrate public transport and Eteguini municipality operators having joint ownership of the fleet. Action SA and the DA say the non-functional transport initiative is wasteful expense that's costing taxpayers millions of rands. Meanwhile, the municipality has allocated funds for maintenance and payment of security guards at bus terminals despite the stations not being operational. The Go Durban Transport Initiative is expected to be completed in January of 2025. So uh, let's uh, bring in Zwagele Mwango, Action SA's KZN chairperson, to expand on this. A very good evening to you. Thank you so much for your time. I mean, all this money has been spent with essentially nothing to show for it. What is your reaction? Yes, uh, good evening to you, Mpo, and the viewers at home. <clears throat> I think, Mpo, the background is important. Yeah. Because uh, I, I keep hearing 10 years. Actually, it's more than 10 years. Uh, this project was initiated in 2011. And the starting date uh, or year was 2014. But the city started to receive budget from national department in 2011. So in 2014, negotiations with taxi industry and, and, and bus industry were signed. Then uh, we were presented with the phases. So from 2014, the head of department, uh, when he presented, it was uh, having a timeline that phase three which is from um, a, a bridge city to Pine Town, which is a corridor three, a, which is a C three, was supposed to be completed in 2018. Then C9 in 2020, then C1 in 2022, then C2 in, in, in 2020. That was phase one. And till to date, phase one is not complete. We only have terminals. What is said in Paul is the fact that the city have received more than or used more than 10 billion on this project and already projection are that the city will end up using about 30 billion for the entire project but you've got the 10 terminals that were, were uh, the, the 10 uh, stations that were completed in 2018 now they've got security they've got ctv um they must be secured um, they must be maintained. The city currently spending about five million rand a month just to maintain and secure with security guards all these stations while they are lying there as white elephant. Mm. Uh, the city in 20, June 2019 bought 22 buses and hired 38 drivers. All that is not working. You've got buses, you hired drivers, they are not operating. Then phase two, was supposed to be completed in 2025, which is uh, corridors five and seven. We haven't finished phase one. Now, the last phase was phase four, which was planned to be completed by 2030. But by the pace we look at at the moment, we don't even think as Action SA, we will see this project up and running uh, 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 by that time. Uh, we hear the city says by April, uh, and next year, it will be uh, uh, live, but very surprising. The head of the department actually retired yesterday. The person who's been uh, leading this project as a head of the department in the transport retired yesterday. So sure. meaning you will have a new person who will take over this project. And the problem is we don't believe that we will able to complete this project. But moreover, I must, must specify this before. We have returned mm -hmm. millions of friends to National Treasurer as unspent budget. And National Treasurer has also uh, uh, declined some of rollovers 
to be approved because they felt we are not meeting our timelines. That's a reality we are facing at the moment. And what, what, do, you, what do you account that for? Like, what are the reasons that uh, this project has been delayed over such hefty lengths of time? I mean, I know at some point there was disputes with the uh, taxi owners and uh, a number of delays in between that. But how is it being justified on paper when you look at the reason why it's not complete? I can safely say Mpo is poor leadership. Um, we lack leadership. The city is leaderless, uh, uh, honestly, uh, because as much as we can talk about the dispute with uh, the tax industry, reality is the city has spent Mpo 100 million rand for the mediator to engage between the city and, and, and other stakeholders. Mm -hmm. 100 million rand have been spent by the city. Now, but look where we are today. No results. The, the tax operators have been taken to different countries like Brazil and other countries. And they came back and said, although the city have spent more than 6 million rand in them traveling to benchmark, they came back and said, no, they're still not happy. They don't believe they will be benefiting. So now the big question is, yes, there's an issue with the tax industry and, 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 and other stakeholders, but the city led leadership, imagine we now had four mayors under this space um, from 2011 till to date. None of these mayors have produced the results and ensured that we've got this integrated rapid public transport mm. that was promised uh, uh, by a uh, government nationally. And also, we are not living in different countries. We are in South Africa. Other cities are having this integrated public transport viable why Etewin is only one with a problem uh, we've seen other cities are having the same uh, transport system it's working but here we can't even get phase one to work despite the fact that uh, if you look back it was june 2019 the head of the department then made a commitment that by september 2019 buses will be running hence they bought 22 buses and did eight drivers and, 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 and how can you hire drivers yeah. who are sitting now earning a salary doing nothing? Mm -hmm. That's really a serious issue. That is why we are concerned because Mpo, we might we might see another Eton saga here where you've got big project and you end up with a right of uh, money. And we've seen Etewini previously, Mpo, where we've got a revenue system, uh, revenue system where that system was initially purchased for 90 million and developers ended up charging the city close to a billion rand. And finally, the city in 2023 had to write off the entire 788 a, a billion, a million rand. So that's really a serious issue where we see the city slowly, we are getting to a point where the city may, may come back and say, no, we can't find a solution. So therefore, we can't continue the project. But we will, as the Chinese say, that the city must find a solution yeah. because we can't really allow so much money to be wasted. Yeah, in terms of accountability, um, what will that look like as you say that, you know, something needs to be done? This is an integrated transport system which was meant to benefit, um, you know, the city and, and of course beyond the city even as you take a look at the, the impact on the economy and just the betterment of lives. I think administratively, there should be some accountability. But unfortunately, as I said, um, Paul, the head of department, who has been part of this project from the beginning, have retired as of yesterday. Now, I don't know how they're going to hold him accountable when he's retired. Mm. But again, the ANC has been presiding over uh, uh, this municipality since then, till to date. And again, there must be accountability. And unfortunately, Paul, one must say this, from June, this year, we don't have a political head on this cluster because there's been this ongoing back between the ANC and the DA where they agreed to govern together in June, in, on, on the 10th of June. But all of a sudden, the DA is not providing the person who must chair the, com the committee. So for three months, we have no political head to oversee this ATA wind transport uh, 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 department. So therefore, we have this challenge 
solely because of ANC and the DA. So there must be a political accountability within these two parties, and they must come out to the public and really explain what do we do with this crisis we find ourselves in as a city and the ratepayers of Etienne Wini, because it's money from ratepayers that is being spent on a day-to-day -day servicing this white elephant project. And mm -hmm. again, I can tell you, Mpo, National, National Department have written a letter to the municipality. Mm -hmm. They may withdraw their funding to this project because they're also complaining it's taken so long for this project to be online. Yeah. Very concerning indeed. Thank you so much for speaking to us this evening as we try, of course, and make some sense of what has happened here with the Go Durban project. Zwagele Mwango, Action SA KZN chairperson, expanding there and speaking about some of the pressing concerns.